Hey everyone, it's Anna and today is National Nacho Day. This video is part of an open collaboration hosted by Jim from Jim's Kitch Kitchen and Cindy Squirrel from Cindy Squirrel Off Grid. Please be sure to go visit their channels and search for National Nacho Day 2021 to find more great nacho ideas. I love nachos. Who doesn't? They're really pretty simple to make. I mean, you need very few ingredients. You can make them simple with just chips and cheese, or you can make them fancy with all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna make a fancy version today. Today, I'm going to be making buffalo chicken nachos. These nachos are really good anytime. They're perfect for game day food. They would make a great nacho bar idea. You could just eat them for dinner. It's kind of what I do sometimes. <laughs> In order to make buffalo chicken nachos, first you need buffalo chicken. So here's how I made mine. To make this recipe, you're going to need one pound of boneless, skinless chicken, half a cup of your favorite buffalo sauce, and half of an ounce of ranch seasoning. That's one half of a packet. Place your chicken breast in your slow cooker. Sprinkle on your ranch seasoning. And add your buffalo sauce. Cover and then cook on high for two to three hours or on low for four to six hours. I went for about three hours on high. And as you can see, the chicken is fully cooked. So next you're going to just go ahead and shred it up with a fork and that's it. Once it's all shredded, it's ready to go. Now that your buffalo chicken is done, you're ready to start assembling your nachos. I personally believe that every good nacho starts with a good base. So grab your favorite chips, my personal favorite, Fiesta Grande. I actually ordered these because I cannot find them here. Yes, I'm that person, I order chips through the mail. I also believe that surface area is more important than height when it comes to nachos. Grab yourself a sheet pan and let's start laying out those chips. Today I'm having a nacho party for one, so I'm using a teeny tiny pan. Next layer, cheese. I'm using just a medium cheddar. You can use whatever you want. Now we pop these in the oven until the cheese is melted. This doesn't take very long, so you're gonna wanna keep an eye on it. As far as oven temperature goes, it really doesn't matter. I don't even fully preheat my oven to do this. You can sort of do this while your oven is warming up. I just set mine to 400. If you have a toaster oven, that works too. Cheese is melted. This took maybe two minutes. Next layer, buffalo chicken. You can use as much or as little as you want because I think we all know there are no rules when it comes to nachos. Now we're gonna go in with some more cheese. Two kinds of cheese actually. So we're, we're gonna do another layer of cheddar. And I think this next one is gonna be a little controversial. We're also gonna go in with some crumbled blue cheese. If you don't like blue cheese, that's okay. You can also use feta and it's pretty delightful. I'm gonna pop this back in the oven for a minute just because it needs a little bit of help melting on top. Is melted. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of corn salsa for freshness. You can use your favorite corn salsa recipe. I'll link the one that I use down below. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of sour cream. You could also do ranch dressing if you'd prefer to do that. This already has a ton of flavor, especially with that blue cheese and the buffalo sauce. If you wanted to get super fancy, you could put the sour cream in a squeeze bottle and kind of make lines across. Lastly, I'm gonna to top it off with some green onions. I'm using a lot of green onions. So that's it, that took me maybe less than 10 minutes. Nachos are great when you need something quick for dinner or maybe for a party. Everybody seems to like them and you can kind of dress them up any way that you want. They're also a good way to use some of the stuff up in your fridge. I can't wait to give these a taste. Okay, this is gonna be messy. So I apologize in advance. Mm. yum. I feel like I should turn my mic off <laughs> when I'm doing that. You can make the buffalo chicken in advance. I like to make some and keep it in the freezer. You can use it for these nachos, but you can also use it for sandwiches, buffalo chicken egg rolls, buffalo chicken rice bowls, pretty much anything you can think of. Oh, these are so good. I hope you have a happy National Nacho Day. I hope this video gave you some good ideas, and I also hope that you check out some of the other videos that people have made. I'm gonna try another one. <laughs> Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Go make some nachos. Bye. 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 Bye.